happy Tuesday. It's time for math. Today what you need is your paper that's called one half. This little symbol means and one fourth. You'll also need a pencil and one crayon or marker or something to color with. So hit pause, go get those supplies and come on back to me. All right, here we go. Let's find out our job today. Today it says draw two equal shares. That means two equal pieces, two that are the same. Remember equal means the same. Color one half of each of these figures. So our first job is to cut it in half. You decide if you wanna cut it in half vertically or if you wanna cut it in half horizontally. I'm gonna do horizontally today. I'm gonna to do my best to draw a straight line. It's not perfect, that's okay. If it gets a little more crooked than you want, you can just erase and straighten it out. But then we have to do the second part, color one half. So I'm gonna take my crayon and this time I'm gonna to choose to color the bottom. I'm just gonna do it kind of quickly because it's not an art project, it's a math activity. Then I go to my next shape and then you'll cut it in half. Same with the circle triangle and the arrow. When you do the arrow, make sure you have symmetry. That means both sides need to look the same. Okay? After you're done with all four of those, go to the bottom. Draw four equal shares. Remember, we want them to be the same. Color one-fourth of each of these figures. That means we're only going to color one of the four pieces. For example, let's start with our square. Okay, so first I'm gonna cut it in half, and then I'm going to cut it, cut each of those pieces in half, just like we did yesterday with our cookie, or with my cookie, I should say. So now I have one, two, three, four pieces. The next part, <clears throat> excuse me, says color one fourth. So I'm gonna take my crayon and I'm only gonna color one of the four pieces like this. So one, two, three are not colored. One is colored. So that's one fourth because it's one of the four pieces. Then you do the circle, another square. Remember it's still a square because it still has square corners. It's just tipped to the side and the rectangle. Now boys and girls, this activity isn't going to take very long and I want you to do more math than this activity. So whenever we have a very short math activity, make sure that you do one of your other choices after that activity. So today you could go on happy numbers. That would be a great activity. You could play plus one minus one plus 10 minus 10 again. You could play doubles dash again. You could play make 10. You could play addition war or subtraction war or any of the other fun math games that we have practiced. Okay, so make sure you get your math practice in and have a great day.